Okay, so I noticed when I launched Halo Infinite today that uh, I was stuttering really bad. And um, there was some screen tearing, and I immediately realized uh, when I went to settings that it uses DirectX 12, and there's not an exclusive full screen mode. Uh, DirectX 12 does not support exclusive full screen. They have a new type of uh, borderless full screen that they use instead. Um, this trick works in every game I've tried it in. I had the same problem in Destiny 2, and um, and this uh, doing this uh, fixed it, and it works fine. Halo is a little different. There is uh, an in-game setting I will show you that um, I had to uh, disable that because uh, when I did this, it, it felt like it was random. The G-Sync wasn't uh, activating every time. I launched the game, but like every couple times I launched it, it would work. Um, so there's an in-game setting I turned off that uh, completely made it uh, consistent and worked every time. So first, what you want to do, on your desktop, you want to right-click, go to your NVIDIA control panel. And that opens up. And go down here to set up G-Sync. You want to enable, make sure G-Sync is enabled here, make sure your mo it's enabled on your monitor settings also. Um, and then you want to enable windowed and full screen mode. Now, the problem is there's a bug. This doesn't always um, apply to every game. Uh, and that's because when they release drivers, there's uh, profiles they release that, um, that are hidden in the drivers. And uh, you can't access those specific profiles, the settings you need to access to change that. Um, I'll show you how to do that, but next you want to click Manage 3D Settings, Program Settings, you want to add the game, add Halo Infinite, you want to copy these settings right here, what's important is make sure G-Sync Compatible is enabled, um, make sure Max Frame Rate is set to 1 uh, frame below your monitor's refresh rate. So I have 165Hz monitor, I set mine to 164, you're at set to 143. Next, um, that should be all. If you want to copy these settings I have here, um, that's just for, uh, it helps decrease input latency and just uh, some graphic stuff. It's not really important. What's important is the G-Sync compatible right there and highest available for refresh rate right there. Um, next, you want to click uh, down here on display so this will pop up. Under here, you want to click this. This will put an indicator up here in the upper right of the screen when the game launches, and that'll tell you if the G-Sync is turned on or off. So you'll know when you launch the game that it's working or if it's not working immediate, and you don't have to wait to see any stuttering or anything like that. You can close that. Next, you want to go to this website. I'll have a link in the description. This is a program called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. What this program does is it... Um, allows you to change settings in the graphics card driver that aren't in NVIDIA control panel. Uh, this is not the newest version. Uh, this is uh, an older version. The newest version I was having problems with. Uh, there's just some errors popping up, so I went back to this version. I know it's stable and it works. So you want to click, download NVIDIA profile, inspector zip. And uh, when that downloads, just want you can put it anywhere. Just put it on your desktop. You want to extract the files, and you'll see the files it will be in Video Profile Inspector. Go inside there. There's two things here. This is basically the settings that are saved, and this is the actual program. So you want to open the program. Hit yes. Now here's all the settings. There's a lot of neat stuff in here that uh, if you know what you're doing, you can go in here and play around with it. If you don't know what you're doing, just follow these instructions, just copy what I got. So first, notice up here, global drive, driver profile. These are the settings we just changed. Okay, that's the global settings. Now like I said, every game, when they release a driver for a game, they put a profile for the games in here. See, there's a bunch of them. Now, there's not a driver for Halo Infinite yet. It didn't launch one today. What you need to do, I made my own, but you can click this button right here, create new profile. You name the profile, and then you will choose, um, then you want to click add application. 
and you want to go to your directory where the game's installed. This only works on Steam because um, I don't have the Windows version, but I know Windows Store games, normally you can't get to this um, the the uh, the program application itself sometimes. Some Windows games, they uh, they lock that folder and you can't uh, you, you can't give yourself ownership to it, so it won't let you, if it lets you open the folder, it won't let you um, mess with this. So, like I said, this is only for Steam. But I already added the profile. Now what you want to do is right here again, make sure your FPS is set one below your monitor's refresh rate. This, this was a problem. This was set to full screen only and not full screen windowed. So I changed it full screen windowed. Make sure these are both allow. Make sure this is on. And full screen windowed again. Maximum pre-rendered frames is set to one. Highest available. Triple, triple buffering on. Vsync use application. Then I put the smooth AFR behaviors on and uh, vertical sync tear control to adaptive. After that, you want to click apply. Sometimes you got to click it a few times and it'll apply the setting. Then you can exit out of there. And that's, that's mostly it. Like I said, when I did that, uh, it felt like it was random and the G-Sync wasn't hooking into the game every single time. So we'll open the game and you'll be able to see it should be yep, right there. G-Sync is working. Now we'll go in here and I will show you the uh, settings that I, the two, th or technically three things you want to make sure are uh, turned off to keep that G Sync enabled. And uh, every time you open the game. So go to video in your settings, scroll down here. Minimum frame rate, turn it off. Maximum frame rate, set to unlock. Turn off V-Sync. That's it. That's all I did. And um, if you notice, the G-Sync indicator is up here in the right corner. If that is not showing, then G-Sync is not working. Um, so just to prove that it is working every time I launch the game now, we'll close and relaunch. And there you go. G-Sync is enabled. So I hope this helps you guys out. Um, if this doesn't fix your stuttering issues, I'm sorry, <laughs> this worked for me. This is, like I said, this is only for people that have a G-Sync compatible display. Um, it, it, you know, G-Sync works with FreeSync monitors too. So it's only for NVIDIA graphics cards and um, G-Sync display. I don't have an AMD graphics card, so I, um, I don't know how to fix it there, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, there you go. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, for my subscribers, uh, just know I'm not switching to Halo content. I'm still making Destiny content. I'm actually working on two separate videos right now. Um, they should be out soon. It's just uh, I I'm doing some editing stuff I've never done before. So it's taken me a little bit to learn how to do that. So just be patient. Give me some time. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one.